You are tuned in live with Ms. Libra Couture, and this Hello. is Fashion, Culture, and Empowerment. My guest right now, so happy to have you here with me, Mr. Jeff Wagner. He is the man behind the plastic movie. He wrote the movie. He filmed the movie. What was the inspiration for you that said, this is a problem. This is something that I feel needs to be addressed. This is something that I feel needs to be dealt with. Let me write a movie about it. I wanted to change my own habits, mm -hmm. or make better decisions. Let's do a little bit of background on you. I think it's amazing the way you wrote the story because you just pretty much put a relationship between two everyday people together. My thing was, I love the connection between the sister and the brother. People don't know how important it is to engage with the youth and to teach them and to show them things and to expose them to different environments because by her taking that class that exposed her to a new idea of living you know from the moment that that teacher impacted her you could tell after she left that plant mm -hmm. her world was changed mm -hmm. her life was changed mm -hmm. and that's what catapulted her into you know wanting to be proactive about it mm -hmm. what made you feel like I want to come at this from this angle versus like a straight educational. It is educational, but the way you did it, like I said, it's not a boring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because of Deshaun and Asia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel like they delivered the story. Mm -hmm. I knew for a long time, and I, I'm being serious this time. <laughs> <laughs> Asia was speaking at this TED Talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's yeah, how you yeah. ended up even meeting Asia. Um, shout out to Asia. I've heard a lot of great things about her. I know you, we were talking off camera, but how long, let the people know, how long have you actually been into film? We got to figure out a way to RCA cable these. We got to use a different camera. We got to put the, you know, the tapes at a different yeah. camera. Yeah, oh, RCA. We gotta get, I haven't we gotta heard that RCA in a long time. RCA the cables to the TV. We got RCA the cable. We got to watch this tape. You know, my hard drives have since been erased. I got a few things that they back. That you're going to release out the vault? You're going you gonna to release it out the vault one day? This is a blessing, and we're continuing to share this message because it's so important. We needed to make sure that I was going to get better myself. Exactly. That's my main focus. So pretty much you did, you were everything. the change that you wanted to see. I just wanted And to this movie was that change that you wanted to see as far as plastic, as far as... I, I agree with what you said. Like, I do believe certain movies and certain things are for a certain time. They bring about certain awarenesses and certain change. And also, also almost like um, an awakening. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, I know this is something that's getting bad. I'm hearing about it. You know, it's continuously going down you know when you go through the creative process you don't let those boundaries stop you mm -hmm. how has this impacted your household viewing just our whole community as the household in general right because we all share the same space essentially mm -hmm. right the wind blows things happen mm -hmm. we're all here together you know again as an artist i have those emotions that mm -hmm. i crave and this was just one of those that was scratching at me really bad there's a lot more good work to come and just getting the idea out there expressed that we should understand how much plastic is in our lives mm -hmm. is the fundamental start and then coming correct and saying I want to do better myself is the second step and if you can get those two steps down mm -hmm. we can really fix it mm -hmm. but we got to start with those two things we got there was a lot of it mm -hmm. and I want to do better yeah we got to really show to be as powerful as we want to be with this Take it to them to where they understand the importance of the need to do this. Some people don't understand the need for recycling. Mediating, understanding this global epidemic mm -hmm. and creating solutions and working in an industry that is, you know, I'm not quoting it the problem industry, mm -hmm. but I'm saying I feel good knowing that we have real solution makers mm -hmm that are working within those industries that are saying, okay, look, we're evaluating this and we're understanding this isn't good anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make it better. We're gonna do what we can do now and we're gonna figure this thing out together. Exactly, yeah. exactly. What kind of advice would you give to people who are wanting to reach out and who are wanting to do what you do? You know, who, are, who have that same urge, that same tug pulling on them, but they mm -hmm. may not know exactly how to process their next move in order to be impactful in this movement. Get involved mm -hmm. with the people around you with an open heart and an open mind mm -hmm. and get dirty. 
Go to the food bank. That that actually why, touch the people. Yeah. Yes, and that was why you'll see in the movie images where Zoe is cleaning her neighborhood. Mm-hmm. She brought that real feeling to those scenes. Mm-hmm. It becomes less of a movie and more of reality. Like yeah, mm-hmm. the way that she scoops stuff up and just. Sh- mm-hmm. Like, like this should be yeah real this, pissed mm-hmm, mm-hmm. out there working. Guys, let's get in tune with our communities to enlighten people and empower people. One good final thought that you want to leave with the people before we get up out of here. My final good thought is do what makes you happy. Exactly. It's so it's so simple. You know, just be good to the people that are around you and offer grace. Get up and grind. Like do your thing. Let's really show the world who we are and what we're capable mm-hmm. of. Exactly. Because we, we're capable of some beautiful things when we all come together. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, guys. I'm so happy um, we're in the building with Mr. Jeff Wagner. We're going to get ready to get up out of here. You are tuned in with Miss Libra Couture, and this is Fashion Future and Empowerment Talk with Miss Libra Couture.